It, what what is your name again? I, Mark. That's my name. Is it? Yeah, and you're you're live on the Mark Allen channel. Mark Allen. So, Allen. how long did it take you to set up set that up? You've taken just material around town. It looks like no, right. It's just all this stuff comes from out here. Out here, you've the just old, found all this old camps. Old uh, canvas material and different things the, and wood. The only thing I and, got. And uh, made yourself a house. The only thing house. I got was the pallets from the truck stop. The tires was out here. Okay, the truck stop's not that far away. You went down there and found some uh, some things that the, has the been discarded pallets, and that's such. It. The rest of it's all and, I found uh, around here. How are you getting by financially? Are you? Do you have a pension? Do you have Social Security? No money whatsoever. None at all. I mean. I gave him the last money I had. Okay, you're not old, old enough yet to get oh, to get yeah. Social Security. Yeah, I'm old enough. Then what? Why? You don't believe in it? I don't need it. You don't need it. Believe in it. Okay. <laughs> you don't believe in it. I don't know what you say. Believe in it, but when okay. I was a young youngster, my granddad talked to his buddies. You know. Yeah. Was telling how the the Social Security was putting a debt on the children to come. Yeah. And for some reason, that stuck with me and. I said I'd never take out Social Security, and I, I haven't. You're, so how are you finding your food? This country is in a wash of food. Okay, an abundance of food, an overabundance of food. So people it's discard so, so food. Much away you yeah, okay, I see. It. So uh, I eat very good. You could find all the food that you'd ever want. I have no problem whatsoever. It's finding discarded food. I see. It's unbelievable. <laughs> um, so anyway, you're you're on city. Uh, property, but they they haven't harassed you. Have they come out to talk to you at all? I don't think they know I'm here. They don't know you're here. I don't think so. Uh, then if they don't know you're here, they don't care. Right. Okay. Decide, You've been here to... a month at least, right? Yeah. It, over a month, so they don't I came, care. I came the ninth of uh, April. So you're not gonna most of all of this. You won't haul the next time no, you t make I a just move. No, I take what I carry. And then you can f easily find all this again wherever you go, again, wherever I go and make your own little home. Right. And everything you need is here. Wow, right. that's. It's always where I, where I go. It's just something that. It, it, that's why I say it's just everywhere. On the trail, huh? So. Oh, it, you couldn't. You couldn't believe the number of camps from from here all the way on the other side of the interstate and over to Highway 66. The old camps that are there. And people uh, occupying them. No, no. They're no, they're just abandoned they're type of camps. I figured I they see. was the illegals and... Uh, you're, you're assuming they're Mexicans. I assume they're illegals okay. and they... No jobs or the the, uh, the border fell has come and got them. <laughs> so you met up, you've spotted rather, not met up with, but two rattlesnakes out here. Three. 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 And what else? Scorpions? One scorpion. Just one scorpion so Now, what did you do up front before you did this? Did you study? Did you do? Did you research any of this, or you just knew you just had to get out here and experience all of it, I, I, learn by I, experience? I, I, I was probably 23, 24 years old when I was living in. I lived in a car for a while. Okay, well, so lots I of I youngsters started, go through that phase see, where they. I started, okay. and then, then it's always. I always thought that the best way to live was like the Indians did. I mean, they didn't have to worry about going to work. Mm. All they had to do was hunt and protect the tribe. They didn't have to do all that, all that stuff that we got to do. <laughs> so uh, you're gonna, you're not gonna be here much longer. About uh, September, October. September, October, you're gonna move out of here, and you're gonna go where? East? Probably Bar Barstow. Barstow, California, for a while. For the winter. And uh, BLM land out that way. Whatever, close to the truck stop that they know. And you'll be there for the full place like this. through winter time at least. Yeah. Through the winter. Then, then summertime, well, then I'll just, I ain't made any plans. <laughs> That's so this is quite different from his setup. So you're actually over here on the BLM side. You're perfectly legal for two weeks. And um, you bought this at Walmart or one of the places in I've town? I've had this for years. Oh, you've had it for years. So. Yeah, but look. But, See? Man, you can never accept this as a permanent lifestyle. You've got to be no, moving I on. No, I've got to be. In. That's why I'm going back to my You're girlfriend. moving on in the morning. You've got to make it back to your woman in Ar uh, Amarillo, Texas. Uh -huh. And she's got a house and all. So this has been an okay thing for you. And you're always going to remember this, how you got by 
living on BLM land outside Kingman, Arizona. I figured I'd bring him down because it's always good to have company, right? Because when I leave tomorrow, you're going to still be like, you know, I'll make sure I get that bear.